boys. Here's a radio that uh, picked up tonight. Actually donated to me by Mr. Thomas Dumpster. An old tube radio receiver. Lafayette. Model HA-225. Lafayette communications receiver. Has BFO. Uh, Q multiplier. I was reading online about another version similar to this one, and Q multiplier, which I didn't know, but Q multiplier only works with a headphones. Only works with headphones. Learn something every day. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I took her apart last night. I had her running for a little bit, and uh, had her running on the Variac, and I don't know for about. 10 minutes or so and then she starts smoking just whoosh, 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 coming up out of her anyways so I pulled her apart and she had a main filter cap which is this one here it has quite failed as you can quite easily see it's also had this capacitor between the AC line and, uh, and ground or the AC line and or between the AC lines whatever Anyway, it's connected there and up there. And, uh, yeah. She's smoking as well. Smoking! <laughs> 0 0.01 UF 600 working volts. So, two of those capacitors removed. Radio had a really, really nice home in it <laughs> at the time. And, uh, everything, all the controls worked, obviously. But uh, I end up replacing two of those. Uh, the filter cap is two capacitors combined into one cabinet. It's, I've done a video about these once before. And uh, basically what i done, I had two individual capacitors. And I wired those together. The grounds together and then the two separate reds, which is the voltage output to each circuit. And that's how I fixed this. The capacitor here, I removed it all together. Um, not sure if I'm going to put a new one there or just leave it as is. But uh, what are that, the radio is in really good shape, I have to say, inside. She's built like a tank. So I'm going to show you the, the tube side of the radio, which everybody loves to see. And here we go with the tubes. We have a little dusting. And we got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tubes. Uh, I'm not sure if there's one under here or not. That I don't know. But uh, there's fourteen tubes in this thing. Uh, the two bulbs on the sides here. Both of those work fine. The antenna tune over here. It works. Main tuning works. Band spread works. The meter works. So overall the radio has survived rather well over the years. This is a 1960s vintage. Um, so red on line. All the tubes are in solid. But uh, she's got two antenna jacks, one for HF, one for uh, six meters. She has uh, speaker jacks, or plug or screws anyways. Eight ohm or 500 ohms. She's got an auxiliary AC output over here. She's got a remote here for RC, RCA remote. Uh, speaker uh, fuse AC cord main transformer you can see that the tuning controls have actually got a nice weight added to them both of them are the same which is nice gives them a nice solid heavy feel to them when you turn them this one is uh, scraping the middle a little bit because this little part here is kind of I'll pull it out. It doesn't touch it bad, but push in it does. So 
I'm going to loosen this off, pull this back a little bit so she's not, uh, not rubbing. Okay, so I decided to go and replace the AC cord. The old brown one was kind of, didn't seem too well. So when they soldered the connections on, they literally just put the wire on top and soldered it. Didn't even put a wrap on it. Didn't even put a wrap around on it. <laughs> so I've got those, uh, got the AC cord changed. The filter capacitor, capacitor's changed. So, there's nothing else here that's, a lot of people would say just go ahead and recap the whole radio, but, you know, if I don't see a problem, wait, why recap it? Yes, sometimes this can be a good idea, obviously. But I mean, if the radio is not showing signs of being stressed at all, capacitors that is, this one here doesn't look damaged at all. That to me, anyway. She looks in pretty good shape. I like that beast there. <laughs> Anyways, let's put our clothes back on here, I suppose, and uh, turn her back on. Let's see what she's like. <laughs>